Welcome back, Fast Monty's Garage. Today's a good one. I get to do some welding, which I suck at, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> We're gonna put band clamps in my exhaust system. Band clamps are basically uh, a clamp goes around here and holds your um, pipes together because every time I have to service my transmission or clutch or anything, I have to take the exhaust apart completely. And it's annoying because I have those slip joints. So today I'm gonna put these in right in front of the uh, mufflers because I have ball joints in the front of the X-pipe system so I can just slip it out from the mufflers and then pull it out from the ball joints. Easy peasy. <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed do so. I've got a ton of how-to projects lined up. Let's get under the car because we have to put a strategy together. I don't know if I should pull apart the system or just cut it off. Let's do it. Let's talk some strategy here real quick. So I'm trying to figure out you know, what's the best way to remove the pipes? I mean, ideally you'd want to take it out the way they were put in, but I put all this Optimum Red uh, exhaust sealant in here. It's going to be difficult to get, take this apart. So I think I might take my Sawzall to that. And just as a recap, this was actually the band clamp on there. So I took that off and cool little thing here. So here's the, here's what we have to put in. So we can literally cut it anywhere in here and then put it on the workbench and do a better measurement. So I actually made a reference measurement. So this is four inches from the face of the muffler to this line. And I did that on both sides. So when we take it apart and we reassemble and we start cutting it up, we know that this dimension has to fit somewhere in there. And since the, this pipe is slotted to fit this in it, this is going to be the target area because we have to get rid of this slotted area anyway. So I think I'm just going to cut straight through here with my Sawzall. And I'm going to try and be as straight as possible, but we could always square it up on the bandsaw uh, at a later point and uh, go from there. So I'm going to get to hacking and then we can take this out. Hey, that was easy. Two done. So I should be able to just loosen these front ball joint clamps and lower the, the rear of the pipes because they're not attached and it should just pop right out. So I'm gonna give that a shot. Oh yeah. There we have it. Just have to pull the exhaust cans out and uh, mock them up on the workbench. Then we can start trimming these ends to fit our four inch dimension on the exhaust pipe. So just in case you guys are wondering, the the pipe is actually inside the exhaust can. So this is two layers of pipe. So what I did was, not knowing what to do, I took my reciprocating saw again and I slit the inside. And then this just slides right out. Bada bam! So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. And we'll get to measuring. Time to start talking strategy. So I'm going to start with the exhaust cans. So I, I already cut this once with the bandsaw. It took like a quarter inch off just to kind of straighten out the, the sloppy cut. See that? And now I want to make sure it's square. And my thinking is when Magnaflow made these exhaust cans that the front and rear are parallel. This is square, this is square, and this arch is square with the same arch in the back. I'm going to use my square and just line it up on the ridges. So I'm actually in line with this tube. And then I can look right here to see if I'm touching or not. So this one I ground a little bit and I can see right there. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but there is a gap down here. So I'm a little, a little high or too much material that way. And in theory, I could do it this way as well, just to see. That's a little bit more difficult because of this radius is so um, sharp. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep playing with that until I get square enough. And then we can weld these on and then do our math on the mating joint. 
All right, so I'm about to weld this on, and note there is a male and a female one, so don't get them mixed up. I'm going to make sure I put one or the other on the exhaust side, I mean on the can side, so I'm just going to go with the female here. I can't wait for this to be together. I don't have a clamp big enough, so I this is called my gravity clamp. <laughs> It's just sitting on there, and luckily I have a TIG welder, so I'm just going to tack it on each side, make sure uh, I have good symmetry, and then I'll do the whole thing laying flat. There we go, freshly welded, like a glove. I didn't say I was good, guys. Give me a break. It's on there. So now I'm waiting, obviously, let it cool, and then we'll, we'll mock up the uh, rest of the system to put the, the male side on. Be right back. So far, so good. So check this out. So on the mating part, there's a lip on the inside. So this is for a two and a half inch tube pipe or tube or whatever, and it fits right over that. And you can feel it engage. It gives you some freedom of movement uh, without getting perfectly uh, symmetric like we had to do on this weld. I needed to be pretty close to even. So what I did is I taped the mating one over on this side. And what we have to just still do is figure out the math between this surface and this edge. Because you guys remember, that's four inches we have to get uh, removed material here to make up for that space. Minus, minus this hundred and I don't know, 30 thou lip. So I'm going to go ahead and do some math on the uh, good old drawing board and we'll figure out how much we're going to take off. I'm going to try and leave this a little long so I can grind some down. I always hate it when I measure once and cut four times. So <laughs> here we go. Thought I'd walk you through my little mad scientist thinking. So I used my uh, whatever this is to measure from the face of our flange installed to the exhaust can. And I spot checked in several different places. And then I took my calipers and I've roughly estimated that's three and three sixteenths from the end of the can. Then I took my calipers and got an exact measurement so I can get a decimal. And I got three one ninety three minus 120 which is the step side so 3073 four inches is our mark to the um, exhaust pipe tape so 927 from the tape is where we need to cut bam so that's the passenger side i know the driver's side is different because this length is a little longer it varied by where i cut and where i ground so I'm going to double check that, do the driver's side, and get to cutting. A little quality control check, 885. A little over 885. Good enough for government work right there, ladies and gentlemen. Check the other side, and then uh, mock it up and tack it. All right, check this out. Remember our four-inch measurement on that piece of tape? like butter I can't get any more perfect than that which is awesome so uh, next step here is which remember guys this has that step in it right so that step in here goes on the pipe and it gives us a little bit of freedom of play in here so I can actually attach I'm gonna go ahead and attach the band clamp on there and then get a visual between the whole X pipe get it get a center line and then I can pivot the muffler see how it pivots but I still have pipe I can weld to there's no gap that's why I love that step inside in these clamps so I'm gonna go ahead and clamp put the clamp on and then I can I'm gonna tack it to get it in place and then finish the weld take the clamp off and finish the weld there we go I had a hard time controlling my heat that's what I get for not welding in years, so uh, at least it feels like years. I'm going to go ahead and 
throw the exhaust cans back up in the car and let's get this thing mounted see how easy it is to put in all right looking good i got the front ball joints are in the sockets they're not torqued down but they are tight enough where you can't move this back and forth and look at our alignment it's pretty awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and put the band clamps on and that will pull the muffler in because i don't have it um, tightened on the back end yet because that's how you do exhaust you do a front to back when you're tightening here we go all right so i just learned something <laughs> it has to be perfectly lined up to get this pan clamp on so now that i have it lined up i can tighten it it's almost like i need three hands All right, there's one. I'll do the same to the other side and show you the end result. There we go. Looks pretty good. Hey, that was fun. I love when a plan comes together. Man, those V-band clamps, they look so good. Not that you're gonna see them, but they functional. They're super tight. So I've, I made that comment where you need to make sure you are perfectly lined up before you put that clamp on it. <laughs> the clamp's not going to fit. I spent like five minutes trying to figure that out. So I did want to bore you with that stuff. Now, those of you that know, the engine has to come out. So that's why I was working on the exhaust, because I have to take the exhaust out anyway to get the transmission out and get the engine out because of my bad oil pressure. So if you missed that video, if you're new, subscribe, because it's going to be one hell of a story i'm thinking moving forward so it'll be fun i have not documented how to do a, a short block um, rebuild so we're going to do that blueprint some bearings go through the whole gamut because i didn't blueprint the other motor so i'm going to do it this time so gonna be fun thanks for hanging out you guys know the drill build them fast drive them faster see ya.